Door Troubles, good morning. You'll have to forgive my uh, appearance and raspy voice. It's 7 o'clock. I just woke up here in downtown Toronto and wanted to share something with you that I know I've talked about in the past, but it's easy to forget, especially in this day and age. And that is, you know, the money that we make in self storage is awesome, right? I'm not going to pretend that I don't enjoy the things that it allows me to do, but money is just a tool, right? And in this day and age, it's very easy to get caught up in the idea that we need more money so that fill in the blank, whatever that means. And, and to a certain extent, that is true. Um, we need our basic needs to be met. Uh, a roof over our head, food, medical, those types of things. But that costs a whole lot less than we could... Then I, then I think we pretend it does, right? We, it just, it doesn't have to be that expensive if you pay for it up front, right? We get in trouble when we want a house that's bigger than we can buy, so we get a mortgage. We want a car that's nicer than we can afford, so we get a payment. And these things stack up, stack up, and stack up until the point where you've promised five days of your week away for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years uh, before you get the freedom to do what you want to do, right? And so, um, you know, that's why I'm so grateful for storage. It it um, it has made uh, making money easier for us. We are our our financial needs are met on very few hours each week. Now, that wouldn't mean anything if we spent as fast as we made it, right? Because then we, as soon as it runs out, we'd have to get back to work. But by combining the power that self-storage has as a money-making vehicle with designing and creating an intentional life, a life that reflects the values that I have, I'm in a position where I get to spend all of my time doing the things I want. One of those things is coming to Toronto, and that's the point of this post is that I'm so incredibly grateful that uh, I have been blessed with the awareness of all that I just described for you. Um, like I said, the money's great, but the true blessing that I've experienced as a result of investing in self-storage is the immense freedom that it gives me to work on me. I spent a very large amount of money to be up here in Toronto for a three-day event um, with, excuse the background noise, it's a city, this isn't the country, folks, um, with a man I admire, a very high-level coach um, who is not only helping me dive deeper and uh, become the best version of myself, right? But also empowering me with the tools to share those uh, strategies and uh, coaching techniques. Sounds like a bad word, but I don't mean it in, uh, in any tricky sort of way. Just um, tools that I can use as a coach to help my storage students not only understand the nuts and bolts of storage, but go deeper than that and figure out what their why is and, and um, what it is that will truly make them feel fulfilled. Because, you know, achievement in the world of self-storage just means being successful and making a bunch of money. And that's great, but only if it ultimately leads to fulfillment. And that's not a path we want to start exploring once we get rich, we want to uh, pursue both of those things simultaneously, and that's what my coaching program does, and that's what this storage rebellion thing is all about. So, um, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm I'm feeling incredibly grateful for um, the opportunity I had to be up here in Toronto, and maybe this kind of event isn't for you. And I'm not saying it should be. I'm just saying that uh, investing in storage the way I've done it has allowed me to pursue the things that I value. And this is one of them. So take that for what it's worth, guys. I hope you are having an awesome day and we will see you again real soon.